Hey family, Pastor Artie here with your man and coffee. You know what? Happy Sunday morning. I know that there are a lot of you right now, especially pastors, you're struggling with the idea of having services or not having services. But you know what? We have to do what's right. Now, I would say have a service. <laughs> I'm just that tired. I'm, kind of, I'm, a, I'm a pastor with an attitude. But you know what, when it comes to the health and safety of people, the family that God has given to us to protect, not as shepherds, but as ministers of the gospel. You see, we don't tend to sheep. We tend to our family. We take care of our family. That's according to the gospel of grace by the, by the teachings of Paul the apostle. And you know, we need to be careful how we tread, especially right now in California, we have uh, been told not to meet, not to, uh, not to give uh, a possibility of contamination to other people so that this virus can die down and we can get over it and get back to normalcy. So I'm kind of in agreement with that. And I was looking in 2 Timothy chapter 2, starting at verse 1, and it says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplication, prayer, and intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all those in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. He qualifies the people in authority we're praying for. We pray for them. And when they make decisions, we need to follow that authority that they have over us. Now, if they tell us not to worship the living God, then you got problems because then I'm going to become a renegade. But if it's just to sit there and say, hey, you know, what? we need to stay healthy. You know, a healthy family is a strong family. But when a sick family is around, it doesn't benefit anybody. Things don't get done. And we want things to be done in the ministry, like people sharing the gospel, the good news of this word with others. And how can we do that? Well, most of you have the ability, most of you pastors now have the ability to go online. I noticed that uh, there's a few now, the one in Paris, a lot of the Calvaries, you guys all have the ability to go online and do an online service. Then by all means, do it. Do it wholeheartedly, fervently, with the power and the love of God as you go out there and share the grace gospel with them and let them know that they're not forgotten, they're not put away, they're still to be encouraged. Myself, the same way. These videos, these devotion videos go out. The Word of God will not be unpreached. I'm not going to sit here at home, twiddle my thumbs just because my company said, stay home for a month. Guess what? I get to do more videos. Praise God. It gives me more time to do that which I'm called to do. And to top it off, they're paying me to stay home. So that's even better. Praise God for the blessing. I am so blessed by this company that I work for. By the way, it's it's Mannheim Riverside. It's, it's a great little company to work for. I drive cars all day. This is really fun. <laughs> and it's just to supplement my income so that I can continue to do the ministry without becoming a burden upon all of you out there to support this ministry. I don't need your dollars. I don't need your tithes. I don't need your offerings. I earn my own money. I go out and I do it because I love you and I want you to hear this word free of charge. I don't have a building to take care of. I pay the rent on my apartment and I'm taken care of. I have all my bills covered. So just continue to pray for us that we get back to work really soon. They're going to pay us till May 1st. Show you how committed they are to doing what the governor of California has asked us to do. And I'm telling all of you pastors to do what the governor of California has asked us to do. Now, we know he's not a godly man. We know he's not saved. We know he is lacking in a lot of personal attributes that deal with Christianity and the love of God. And he's more against it than ever. I just know this for a fact because of, the, because of his fruit. You can tell by his fruit. But also he has been put in a place of authority over us and as Christians, like it says in 2 Timothy there, or 1 Timothy chapter 2, that we need to submit to that authority because it is good, because it leads people to Christ. When they see what we do, we then share and show them 
God at work, the tangible part of God's love. It's physical because we're doing it. We love God so much that we'll follow a crazy man and what he says. <laughs> and we will set aside having services and doing services online because then we only put a few people at risk. Your, your cameramen, your sound guys, you know, your musicians, and that's about it. You don't need anything more to do an online service than that. Maybe if you have an applause track, yay, you could play an applause track for all your funny jokes if you want to tell jokes. I think the pulpit's no place for the joke, but uh, that's my personal conviction. You guys can joke all you want. You know, maybe they, may, at least they'll remember the joke. But I would rather them understand and hear the word of God. So today, family, get out there. Do the right thing. Stay home. Take a good walk. Enjoy the nature of God. Discuss among yourself with your loved ones, your wives, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your husbands. Discuss the blessings that God has given you. Look at the things he's blessed you with. And then go forth and share that love with others. Maybe through a podcast, maybe through an online ministry like like Rock Ministries, you know. Um, share this with your friends if they're discouraged. You know what? God has got this all under control. It's all going to blow over, and in the end, you're going to look at your storage unit and see them ten thousand cases of spam that you bought, and all those cases of water, and say, "Oy vey, what did I do?" But you know what? At least you'll have food. Anyway, God loves you. We love you here at Rock Ministries. We're praying for you, Linda, myself, uh, Pastor Tony, and the rest of the staff here at Reaching Our City Ministries. We're lifting you guys up because we care about you. We want you to stay well. We want you to stay safe. So by all means, study the word, share the word, and stay home and relax. You know what? A lot of you are saying, you know, God, I wish I had more time to rest. Well, guess what? Now you got at least... 15 days the president called for. You got 15 days to rest up. Rest up. Rest in the word and rest in the Lord today. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he give you peace today. Have a blessed Sunday, guys. Have an awesome online service today. I hope you share this video with your friends too as well. I challenge you. Share it with somebody that doesn't know Jesus. And let them know that we love them just as much as you love them. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.